most people are actually called through the workplace. Um, but actually to work out there, Christian. Is this going to be okay? We can go around. Um, I think with the microphone, okay. your voice will come out clearly. Okay. I'm saying that. <laughs> we could. We could otherwise. We could go around. Go around we can corner. go around the corner yeah. there. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't matter if there's some background noise. Yeah. It's just uh, you don't want it to be. Yeah, this should, this should shield it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But it's actually recording. I just hit the. Yeah, okay. Anytime you want to go. Okay. Hello, my name's David Landrum. I'm the Director of Advocacy at the Evangelical Alliance, and we deal with a number of policy issues affecting Christians uh, across society. And what's come to the fore is that there are strains and stresses for Christians in the workplace, uh, new strains and stresses. And in that, how do we respond to that? Well, I think we need to pray. And there are no lone rangers in the kingdom of God. I would encourage all Christians in all workplaces to find other Christians to connect together and to pray for their workplaces, to pray that God blesses those workplaces, that they're productive, that they're fruitful, that they're places of peace, of accord, and that the gospel flourishes and the kingdom comes, a little bit more of the kingdom every day. That's what we'd like to see. So be encouraged to connect, to pray, and to believe God to change the atmosphere in a workplace. We're not just there to share Jesus at the water cooler. That's brilliant. We're there to change the atmosphere, change the way uh, our workplaces think and operate, change the culture. And that starts with prayer.